Three days ago, uh, we marked 100 days since Hamas initiated its brutal and unprovoked terrorist attack on Israel. It was the deadliest terrorist attack since the state of Israel was formed. And in two days, we're going to mark the three-year anniversary of the Biden administration's executive orders that opened our nation's uh, borders to the, to the world. Uh, since then, more than 7 million illegal aliens have illegally crossed our border, a population the size of the state of Tennessee. Five million, including 1.7 million known Godaways, have been released into the United States, a population the size of the state of Alabama. A few days ago, Secretary Mayorkas admitted that DHS is currently releasing 85% of the illegal aliens coming to our border. When we were in Eagle Pass three weeks ago, Border Patrol officers told us that the figure in their sector is more than 90%. And of course, 100% of the known Godaways enter the United States, about whom we know precisely nothing. That's a 2,700% increase since Biden took office and deliberately opened our border. Our law enforcement agencies are now urgently warning us of the national security risk that this has created. When Biden abandoned Afghanistan, he released 5,000 of the most dangerous terrorists on the planet. How many of them are among the 1.7 million Godaways? Uh, we know that suspected terrorists that have been apprehended have exploded exponentially since that time. Uh, FBI uh, Director Chris Wray warned this committee that this constitutes a, quote, massive security threat, his words, a massive security threat. Just let that sink in. And then consider the barbaric terrorist attack 103 days ago in Israel. I, I believe it's just a matter of time before we see a coordinated terrorist attack in our own country from elements that have entered uh, as a direct result of Biden's policies. We've already seen lone wolf attacks in Belgium, France, Germany, and Denmark because of their lax border policies and I'm afraid this is only the tip of the iceberg. After the October 7th attacks, Director Ray warned that America, quote, cannot and does not discount the possibility that Hamas could exploit the conflict to call on their supporters to conduct attacks on our own soil, end quote. Here in the U.S., at least one foreign national has already been arrested for plotting an attack against Houston's Jewish community, a Jordanian national who had overstayed his visa several years ago, but then applied for asylum and was issued work authorization by the Biden administration. This bill is a very small step in combating this danger. It classifies members, officers, officials, representatives, and spokespeople for Hamas and the Palestinian uh, Islamic Jihad as being engaged in terrorist activity for the purposes of inadmissibility to the United States. The No Immigration Benefits for Hamas Terrorists Act further provides that those who participated in or otherwise facilitated the attacks on Israel beginning on October 7th are inadmissible to and removable from this country and makes no, uh, no, uh, such aliens ineligible for all immigration relief under our laws. Now, this obviously is not going to stop the influx of terrorists into the country. Uh, only an administration committed to securing our border and protecting Americans can do that. And at the moment, we don't have one. Uh, and that can only be fixed by the American people. But this bill does send an important message around the world. If you've associated with Hamas, you will get no comfort or quarter here. You are persona non grata in America, and you should be, as you should be in any corner of the world that values peace, justice, and human dignity.